Hello there and welcome back to my office. If you're a regular, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. Let me pop you down over here. My name's Nick. I sell stuff. Here it is, stuff. And on this channel, we talk about selling stuff on the internet to make money. That's what we do. I didn't film anything to do with picking and packing orders today. That has all been dealt with. Um, we've had another good weekend. Not as good as the last couple of weeks. We're seeing sales winding down towards Christmas for sure. But I think as far as our store is concerned, that's a lot to do with we've been winding down our, our rate of listing as well. Um, but I do think people did shop a bit early because they knew there might be delays with the postal system, right? So anyway, but sales have still been good. Um, but I wanted to carry on listing for the rest of this week and then we're going to uh, take some time off for Christmas. So I thought I would just have a chilled out little video and talk to you about some stuff. Show you what I'm listing, show you what I'm up to. I've just listed a couple of bits, I'll share those with you. This is Sarah. Say hello, Sarah. I think she's saying, come on, duck. She's from Sarah and Duck. Um, I think it's a CBeebies show. And yeah, the duck sells really well. I've had the duck before. I think there's a couple of different sizes of the duck you can get. Um, and I think it was £30 maybe, £20 or £30 we, we got on the duck. Uh, this is obviously a talking Sarah. And I've just listed her... Um, I'm shooting for 15. I think that's achievable on her. She was uh, picked up in a charity shop on Saturday for a pound. And I've just got this working. I uh, don't know if you're going to be able to see. It's got an LCD screen. Is it, uh, it, yeah, it, it does stuff. Makes sounds. I don't really understand what it's doing or what it's talking about, but... It does things and it lights up and I should there you go lights Ta -da. um yeah these are good um i have just listed this and i'm aiming for 25 which really is pushing it i think on that but it's achievable i've seen a couple of other listings go for up to that sort of money um it's a watch effectively it goes on your wrist or on a child's wrist I doubt many almost 50 year olds would be <laughs> playing with one of these, but you never know, right? So it's an Omnitrix. This is what they call a deluxe. Um, and yeah, picked it up at a car boot. I think this came from. I usually pay no more than a couple of pounds for these. And yeah, that's gone on at 25. So happy that's working and doing its thing. There you go. Look, little animations on there. I don't know how it works really or what it does. I really have no clue. I'm just editing the video and I realized I didn't mention that that watch thing is, it's a Ben 10 watch. I forgot to mention that fact. So yeah, just adding this in. So that's what I'm up to. And I've just been checking a Monopoly. So let me put some light on the subject. Um, this is a vintage big box the classic one it's a bit ropey well very ropey on the box but it looks to be complete or at least it is now it was missing um, I think it was chance it was missing a couple of chance cards it was missing a couple of houses and a hotel and it didn't have all of these but I have managed to track them down it was missing a car was missing a hat and I think it was the boat as well um, but it is now 100% complete now I tend to keep in stock spares this box has grown to be humongous um, these are my spare monopoly bits for example yeah it's a bit mental uh, spare instructions, um, just 
whatever you need. Hopefully, they're down four bits. Hopefully it's in here. Yeah, it's a bit crazy. I do need to have a sort out. I mean, for example, these are all Simpsons Monopoly spares. And I barely ever get that game. But when I do, it's really handy to be able to, nine times out of ten, complete it. But when do I ever get that? Really, I should just sell those off as spares. Um, blockbusters. There's everything you could imagine in here. Upwards. This was handy the other day. I completed an upwards, which was missing a tile rack and a couple of letters. So, yeah, that is endlessly useful it usually lives in that hole up there so anyway I'm gonna list this now um, I'm going to repair the box it needs taping up we had this pretty much this exact edition when we were kids and we played it to death love this game it's got a bit of a stain on there which I'll have to declare but yeah it's okay Right, so that's all ready for its pictures. That's how I tend to lay it out, so you can see all of the contents, uh, the top of the box and the board in one picture. So I'll use something like that as a, as a square main picture. And then get some close-ups of all of the bits, like three square pictures along there. And then what I'll tend to do, the board has some issues. Um, so I'm going to get a couple of shots of those and then generally I'll take pictures like that of the corners and the ends of the box just to show the repairs and then that will be good to go. Um, I'm not sure on price what these go for on eBay. Um, in recent years I've sold these on Amazon but this one I didn't get organised to sell on Amazon. Um, I could still merchant fulfill it, but I think with these condition issues and stuff, I'll be happier on eBay with that one. So a quick check, these are completed and sold. Um, so as low as 10 pounds there, 15, 2.99, blimey. 12.99, spares, uh, 10 are there, 17.45. It's a strange price. Uh, tenor. Oh, hello. They did well. 35. Blimey. That's that's quite impressive. Um, 750, 1490. So, yeah, I, I don't know where we'll go on that. Um, I mean, mine has got some condition issues. I might just stick it on for 20 quid free shipping and see how we go. I think that would be fair in the condition mine's in. Uh, 16 there, I think that's exactly the same issue. Because there's a few different uh, versions of this box in different years. That's that one. That went for 16 plus six pounds shipping. One there, 22. Yeah, I think I'll go 20, see how we get on. Now I'm quite annoyed I didn't get these listed. I dug these out a while back and somehow they made it back onto the shelf and didn't get sorted out. I've got a load of Christmas Playmobil. Oh, so annoying, this this would have sold. I mean, it's that it may still sell before Christmas, but it's gonna get tight with the postage delays and stuff. So I'm gonna sort it and list it now and list it with same day dispatch and see how we get on. As you can see, it's still in its bag. We bought it in assorted Xmas Playmobil, two pounds. Um, so I'm gonna set this up as a little scene and get it on. There's some cool stuff in here. We have Santa sleigh. We have Santa to go with it. I think this is from an advent calendar. Playmobil do same as Lego do, like um, an advent calendar with lots of little goodies in. 
and then you've just got loads of toys and a few elves so we'll get that set up uh, as a little scene snap a few shots and hopefully get it sold this side of Christmas okay we're in almost there I'm gonna add in a few more bits but it's coming along and we've been joined by dun, 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 extreme close-up <laughs> Look at you all Christmassy and Disney-ish. I don't Disney -ish. anymore and I've lost a pom-pom. Have you? But, you know, You've lost your pom-pom? I've lost my pom-poms. <laughs> where, where, what, from here? Yeah, there was a blue one here. I'm very conscious I'm now pointing <laughs> at your boobs. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're going to go... You two, I'm filming. Sorry, Can you not... <laughs> I'm trying to make a, a, yeah, a quality back. video. <laughs> And you two nattering away in the background. Anyway, after Andrea's rearranged my little scene for me, it's now, it's now bye. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what we're going for. So we've got Santa and his elves in the middle. We've got the sleigh. Um, this thing I figured out was a table. It's like a trestle table, which is handy. So I've raised some, some of the gifts up at the back and then laid all of this out. So we'll get one lead square picture and then a bunch of small close-up pictures and that will be good to go okay so I've just punched in um, Playmobil Santa sleigh just to get an idea uh, of the market for this okay so there uh, yeah pre-owned um, Santa and his sleigh 15 pounds free shipping so that's not bad um, we've got some new bits on here as well. Um, let's just filter it as used. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? Another Santa and his sleigh there, eight pounds. There's a bundle. Similar, really. Uh, they went for twelve fifty plus shipping. Um, yeah, so I I don't know, what do you think? 15 all in, something like that. I want it to move pretty quick. So that's a similar bundle, 12.50 plus the shipping. Yeah, 15, get it gone. There's a bundle of 15, they had shipping on top. Ooh, oh, that's got four reindeer, 25, wow. I think we're going to go 15 and hopefully that will sell it quick. Just Santa and the reindeer 420. Nine pound for just Santa and the reindeer. Uh, don't know. I've just kind of destroyed the picture. I wanted to get a close up of this without anything around it. But yeah I don't know I'm I'm thinking maybe 20 free shipping now but I do want to get it sold not sure here's the thing it, it often does come down to just having to make that decision right do you want to get a quick sale do you want to aim right at the top of what these things might potentially go for and maybe miss selling it before Christmas um, do you want to be really competitive with your price and get it gone get it out the door I mean as you saw this this owes me a couple of pounds so I'm thinking I'm thinking now maybe 15 plus shipping it's quite a nice bundle it looks good in the pictures or 15 free shipping I don't know I sometimes I said this before I sometimes get trapped in the kind of mental headspace of oh I could do this or oh, I could do that or oh, where do I need to go and it and it's ridiculous you just have to make decisions get it listed and move on I've got plenty of other stock I need to uh, get sorted today 15 plus shipping get it listed that's my process really you know I get stuff out get a good look at it check the condition have a browse on eBay see what comparable items have sold for recently 
judge from that what the demand is, have a look at what's currently listed as well. That's quite an important step. You know, if there's currently hundreds of Playmobil Santas in his sleigh available, I'll aim at the lower end. Um, actually, while I've got you on, I'll do that search because I haven't done that yet. So we, I've looked at completed and seen what they have been selling for. If I now look at active, uh, it gives me 44 results. And looking through them quickly, most of them are just Santa and his sleigh. And prices are fairly high. So I think, yeah, 15 plus shipping, when you put it next to what's currently available, should be achievable. So I think I'm about on the money with that. It is cold and damp and horrible here. So I'm going to dig out another one uh, of our sourcing videos from a scorching hot summer day and pop that up there. So check it out if you want to. And we can all reminisce what it was like to be warm and sunny and hunting for goodies in a field somewhere. Take care, I'll see you soon.